Sweet Mesh in Maya is the best way to create wires, ropes, and anything else that has a curved path to follow. Let me show you how it works. For example, I made these ball chains for a recent art test using Sweet Mesh and curves. The balls on this chain I actually used a mesh network for, but I plan on going over mesh in a totally separate video. Anyways, all you have to do is go to the curve tools under create menu and select one of these options, whether it be CV curve tool, EP curve tool, Bezier curve tool, pencil curve tool, or the two point or three point circular arc. Once you've created your curve, make sure it's selected, then go up here and just click Sweet Mesh. So I've actually just drawn myself a curve I'm going to highlight it and then click Sweep Mesh and it's going to spawn this. I mean, you can do all sorts of stuff. You can make it a rectangle. You can even make it a star. You can change the amount of size that this has, change whether it has a cap or not. If you click on Distribute right here, it's going to make five different ones by default, but you can change how many there are. You can change the scale of them. You can change their rotation, their coverage. You can go down to Align and change all sorts of settings here for further customization. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. You can see that there's some like low poly stuff going on here. I want this to be like a really smooth curve. So I can scroll down to Interpolation and I can increase the precision on that. It's adding topology to the mesh right here. Now what you can do is you can crank this up a little bit to where you get your curves really smooth, but then you can click on optimize right here. It's going to remove any of that unnecessary topology that's just in the straight portions of your curve. Now right above interpolation, you have your taper curve and transformation settings. Here you have a lot of different ways that you can mess with the taper of the mesh. You can twist, you can even rotate it as well. You can really make whatever you want. This is kind of a, an ugly looking S shape of chords here, but you kind of get the idea. Guys, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Feel free to check out my new assets that I just dropped on Fab, Gumroad, and CG Trader, any of those online marketplaces, I'm on them. So next time you need a quick way to knock out a rope or wire or something like that, don't forget your old friend.